if you are a poultry farmer or a livestock farmer, watch this particular leaf. Have a look at this leaf I'm holding. See, this leaf I'm shaking here. It is called tree spinach. This is a very great, amazing tree. And it's an amazing plant that every poultry farmer needs to have in his farm or around his house. It has a lot of boosting properties that can boost the growth of your poultry and livestock animals within a short period of time. Please, if you have any question regarding this particular content, drop it on the comment section. Why you relax? Let's go in details and discuss it in full. Hello, you are all welcome to a very another interesting topic. This is a very, very important content. This content comes at the right time because this is the time of heat stress. You can see what I'm holding here. It looks like flower. It is very greenish. It's the same plant you saw me in the farm with. This is the same plant I'm holding. I just cut a, two branches of it. See it? I just cut the two branches. You can see that this thing has been long. This plant has been long, almost two weeks now. I mean, I've been keeping this plant. It is a very strong plant that is very healthy, good for your poultry, livestock animals, most especially broiler farmers and four-legged animal farmers. This will help to boost the growth and immunity of your poultry and livestock animals. Don't play with it. Now, let's go into, you have seen it, you have seen it, let me describe it for you, because I don't want this content to go too long, but make sure you follow this content step by step till the end, don't skip any track, it is an advice for you, because if you skip any track, you may finally make a mistake, let me describe it so that you will not be confused, if you don't have it, it's called Three spinach. That is the name. It is called three spinach. It is a leafy green vegetable native of Mexico. This is where this plant originated. Now, if this plant touches your skin, it's always scratch. It's always scratch your skin. There's one liquid here that comes out from here, whitish in color. If it touches your skin also, it will scratch your body. It is, you can see it very well. It has flower and fruit you can see it but if you want to plant it you plant it with the stem it can survive easily in any particular soil this it has been two weeks i cut it off and it has been like this the only that the leaves are withering off that's all but it still remains like this so if you need this plant if you don't have it you can drop on the comment section with a little cost you can get it I will send it to you, no matter your location. We can we build it to you. It is a very good plant. Every poultry and livestock farmers, you can use this. But as I, if I, if you get this one, you can cut them off like this and replant them. They will germinate and give you a massive bunch of this, so that you'll be able to use it for your poultry and livestock animals. You can see even the color alone will show you that this particular leaf contains a lot of minerals, a lot of vitamins, and the nutritional content is superb and healthy for your poultry and livestock animals. In general, like this is universal it is for all the livestock animals both the feathered and four-legged animals now let's go into it as i earlier said it is a greeny leaf and it's a vegetable leaf native of mexico and it is known for its nutritional value and potential health benefits i'm going to give you some of the components of this particular leaf including the minerals and vitamins alongside with its usefulness in poetry and livestock in general one, it has vitamin A. Vitamin A, you know, is very good for vision, immune function, and skin and feather health of livestock and poultry animals. Most of those into broiler, brooding, either domestic or hybrid broilers. Broilers at early stage has vision issue. So this particular plant helps them for them to see quickly and eat very well at the early stage of their life. It has vitamin C, which is essential for immune function, wound healing, and also for collagen production. You know, when livestock animals are overstressed, they always cause injury to one another. They become aggressive, and during that period, they can cause injury. If there's any form of cannibalism, 
this particular plant will heal it off because of its high nutrient in vitamin C. It has vitamin K also, which is for fluid clotting and for bone formation. Perhaps you are breeding your early, early day old chicks. You know, most of them find it difficult to walk. Most of them are stressed from, from transporting them from far journey. You can use this to boost them on arrival. You can use it to boost them on arrival. So I'm going to direct you on how to use it at the end. So that's why I say you should not skip any track. Make sure you watch it at the end. And make sure you share this video to reach others. Don't watch and keep alone. That is why most of us are not moving forward. Share your knowledge with others and you continue moving forward. Others, will, as you share, you still get from others also. If you hold it to yourself, others will hold their own. You, what you, you need to exchange ideas. So make sure you share this video. Don't watch and just keep a skip and go away. Watch and share. Let others get the same information you are getting. And that's the, that knowledge will help us in this business. If I keep this, you know, most of you will not even know about this plant. Now, next one is vitamin B. It has a lot of vitamin B. Vitamin B6, B2, B9, and B12, which is very important for metabolism and fluid production. It helps in fluid cell formation and at the same time, neurological functions in livestock animals. Now, let's go to the mineral aspect of it. It has cashew. Cashew is good for bone and teeth formation. Most of those animals that bite, that eat their food with the, with the teeth, this particular plant strengthens their teeth at the same time. It has a muscle function and at the same time, nerve signaling. It's a very good plant. It has iron. Iron is very important in oxygen transport and in the fluid formation, red fluid formation and energy production. When I say red fluid formation, you know what I mean because of our landlord. Now, it is good in magnesium. Magnesium is necessary for nerve function, muscle relaxation, and for bone and teeth also. It also has potassium. Potassium is a very good mineral. If you, have, if you take your food, the food for your livestock animals, most especially broilers, layers, and the rest of them, potassium is one of the main contents of that particular food. Potassium is very important for bone, for energy, metabolism, and for cell formation. It has zinc also. Zinc is essential for immune function. And it's also good for wound healing and for DNA synthesis. It's also good in copper. It has copper. Necessary for iron absorption. It also helps in connecting tissues and functions as an as undetant. And all this plant is a property or a function that helps to oxidize food and help them in feed conversion. If you are chicken or livestock animals continue eating from, from day one to the last day of the month and they are not converting that feed, it is not helpful. You are not getting anything. The function is for them to eat and convert that feed to meat or egg or whatever you want to produce. So if they are eating and they are not producing, it's, you have, your whole effort is fertile. So this is the work of this. Now, how is it useful in poultry and other livestock animals? This particular plant, is, that is called tree spinach, can be valuable as feed addiction. You can add it to feed. How do you add it to feed? If you are using weight feed, crush it, wash it properly and add it to other feed in that and crush them together. If you are using dry feed, some, not some dry now, uh, dry this particular leaf, cut them, wash them, uh, dry them, not sun dry now. If you sun dry them, you are going to lose a lot of my vitamins and minerals. Most of the nutritional contents will go. But if you uh, dry it, it will remain there. Then you use it to blend with your food. It's going to add value to that your food. The, all these minerals and nutrients I mentioned here, almost 90% of them is going to be added to your food. Because it helps in vitamin and mineral and overall health, growth and egg production of poultry and livestock animals also. Then for livestock, it's also good for goats, sheep, rabbits, cow, cattle. Guinea fowl and the rest of them, it helps in promoting their health and their general growth. This is very important that you make use of it. If you don't have it, look for it wherever you can see it and plant it, especially during this rainy period. It will germinate fast and it will help you faster also. It's also important for you to note that why this tree is nutritious. It contains hydrocyanic acid in it. See it? It contains hydrocyanic acid, which can be toxic. So, if it is better, you don't assess, make excess use of it. Use it according to my prescription. That's why I said, 
that you should watch this video till the end. Assuming you didn't get to this particular point now, you wouldn't have heard what I said now. Maybe some of you that have it in abundance would have packed them because it is almost free. Pack them and put for them. And it can cause head hazard because of the hydrocyanic acid in it. That hydrocyanic acid is predominant in that white fluid. Now, how do you use it? Now, the leaf, the leaf is very, very healthy. Even human being can eat it. It's very, very healthy. Block the leaf. You can see the, the liquid water I'm talking about. You can see it here now. Are you seeing that white is liquid water? See it? Now, plug this leaf, wash it properly well, and blend it. If you have blender, blend it properly well. 500 gram can serve 500 beds at a time. You do this five to seven days to boost them. Five to seven days to boost them. It's going to boost your broiler. I don't, when I say boost it, it means a lot of things. If you come to the comment section, ask me, I will explain it more for you because of our nature of our work here. So now, give it, serve it to your poultry and livestock animals. Because it's especially poultry, for poultry, you blend it. If it's ordinary livestock animals, just give it the direct. They will eat it goat, sheep, cow, rabbit, and the rest of them, they will eat this directly. If I keep this now, all this my, they will just come and pick it and run and start running here to scatter. If you throw one leaf into your fish and into your farm or into your fish pond even, all the fish there will start jubilating. So this particular plant is very essential. It's something you cannot play without. Do this. If you have any question regarding this particular plant or how to use it or more on this, ask me on the comment section. But make sure you share this content to reach other farmers. If you are not a member of this platform, do that. If you ask questions, the network will always promote you. What is happening is that anytime I want to load my video, you will be among the people that the network will suggest that I tag. And that means you get this video and watch it before others. That's what it means. Goodbye. Till I come with another interesting topic. Remember I told you, I'm going to discuss three major plants. I have discussed Ficus capensis. I have discussed three spinach. I'm going back to another particular plant. Don't miss this content that's coming up. Bye for now.